Have you been posting to Instagram Reels only to scroll through your feed, see your video back, and the quality is terrible? The quality just isn't the same as before you posted the video. What is happening? Why does it look so bad? Today, I'll walk you through why your Instagram Reels look so bad when you post them. And I'll even give you a bonus tip that's gonna help you get a ton of organic traffic to your Instagram Reels. Let's start. The most important factor for improving your Instagram Reels comes down to the content itself. Now, this feels obvious. You can't make gold out of garbage. Your Reels won't look good if the content itself isn't good. You may be saying, okay, I came to this video to fix the quality of my videos. Why are you telling me this? Well, I just wanted to be very clear from the start that if you focus on creating visually stunning reels, that will help the beginning of this process. So if you're going out to create something cinematic, think about lighting, think about composition, think about time of day. These are all factors that can make the quality of your videos that much more impressive. Before we even get into the technical settings of your videos for Instagram, this is something that you should always be thinking about. You wanna make your footage stand out so that viewers will stop and click on your video. On Instagram, there is so much media, it's hard to stand out from the pack. So think about these factors, lighting, composition, sound, all of this makes a difference in getting viewers to watch your video. Okay, so we got that out of the way. You filmed an incredible reel and you're ready to post. So let's dive in and look at the technical settings that will ensure that you're posting the highest quality videos to Instagram. Let's jump onto the computer and we'll walk through a couple steps in Adobe Premiere Pro that ensure that both your edit settings and your export settings are optimized to post the highest quality videos on Instagram. So there's two things that I wanna show you how to do in Adobe Premiere Pro that are gonna help your reels post at the highest possible quality. Now, I've got an example clip here. This is just a shot that I got on my iPhone. So this is gonna be a full walkthrough on exactly how to get this looking perfect for Instagram. So the first thing we wanna do is create a new sequence. And I'm gonna go over to sequence settings here and quickly walk you through the settings I'm going to use that I think are best for Instagram Reels. Editing mode, custom. Time base here can be 23.976 or 30, depending on what you shot with. I'm gonna go 23.976 to get a little bit more of that cinematic look. Frame size will be 1080 by 1920. That'll give us that vertical frame perfect for an IG story or an IG Reel. Square for pixel aspect ratio, fields, no fields, 23.976, this is all set. Audio is all set. We can leave our video previews at iframe only MPEG, so that is all set, and I'll just call this IG Reel. Then we can drag our clip onto the timeline. We'll keep the existing settings that we just made, and you can see here is our clip currently. What I would typically do when I'm editing is toss on a little color correction, but that's a whole different video. We don't need to worry about that right now. So when you have your video edited as you want and your sequence is built properly, it's time to export. Now this is the most important step in the process. If there's anything in this video that you're gonna take away, it's this bit right here. To export the clip for an Instagram reel, we're gonna set our in and out. We will hit Command M to open up our export panel. First, we'll find a location for the video to go. That can be wherever you want. Just make sure that it's somewhere safe. Then, the next step, the most critical, we wanna make sure our format is H.264, and you can click the video drop down here. We want to match our source as we have it. So that is based on the sequence settings that we created at the beginning. So it's a frame size of 1080 by 1920, our frame rate that we set at the beginning, progressive field order, and our square pixel aspect ratio. Now, you wanna click on render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality. Moving down, these the encoding settings can be set to default, hardware encoding, that's fine, these are all good. And finally, the bitrate settings. This is a really important part of the process because we don't want our bitrate to be too high that Instagram then has to compress the file down. That's where you're running into a lot of your issues right now. So we're gonna make our target bitrate 15 
and we'll leave it at VBR one pass. From there, you can hit export. If you follow those steps, you'll be posting high quality Instagram reels in no time. Now, I did promise a bonus tip if you stuck around to the end of this video, so let's get right into it. There is a new method for achieving virality on Instagram lately. One of the best ways to draw in loads of organic traffic with Instagram Reels nowadays is called the text hook and information loaded caption. Now, what does that jumble of words mean? Well, let me explain. Create your visually stunning reel as you've done before, but add in a text hook. This is a little bit of text that you post on top of your reel to draw the viewer in just a little bit more to capture their attention. For example, want to create stunning reels? Check the caption. Top five places to travel this year? Read below. Seven tips to improve your cinematography? Read the caption underneath. All of these text-based hooks will draw in your viewer to click and look at your caption, which will then be loaded with helpful information. Instagram lets you use 2,200 characters in your caption. This is massive. This isn't something that TikTok's allowing you to do or YouTube Shorts, so you wanna take advantage of this. So you're basically drawing in your viewer through your visual, through your text, and then getting them to read through your caption. That's gonna boost your watch time. People will be watching your video as it loops over and over as they read this information packed caption. This trick is working wonders on Instagram right now. And the reason is you're getting that increased watch time, but you're also helping viewers by providing them with tips, tricks, information that they want. And that's leading to follower conversions. People are sticking around because they want more content like this, and thus your reels are leading to followers. So go out there and give this trick a shot. I hope this video was helpful to ensure that your Instagram reels are being posted at the highest quality. If you have any questions, let me know down below. I've got another video that goes deeply into the specifics on these technical settings that you can check out if you're confused. Otherwise, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back with more.